This is a review of the Allen Yap Transforming Microscope Robot. Uh, Allen Yap is a Lego fan. He designed this uh, robot all from this Lego set. Uh, set number is 70842 Emmett's Triple Decker Couch Mech. Uh, it's from the Lego Movie 2 series. Uh, you can get it in stores now. It's about thirty. It's thirty dollars for the set. Uh, just to warn you, you will use, you won't use all of them. Like you don't use any of these ladder stuff. But like you will, you will use uh, this part on Hello Kitty or not Hello Kitty, um, Angry Kitty's head, the little gray plate, uh, all these yellow uh, plates down here, and these little yellow plates and brown plates. You will use all of that in in this build. So you can build the little girl figure, and you can go, you can build Emmett. Uh, but that's it. Uh, oh, Sweet Mayhem. Yeah, you can build Sweet Mayhem and you can build Emmett. Uh, and you have a, a, a couple leftover parts like the mugs and stuff like that. The instructions are free online uh, on Brothers Brick. Uh, it's a pretty easy build uh, if you know how to build Lego. Uh, there's two different sets of instructions. One is like really easy and one is slightly more challenging. Uh, they don't show you every step. You kind of have to like look at how the piece was built uh, like they build like small sub assemblies and they don't really show you all all sides of it so you can have to like deduce what parts they use and where they go uh but there is a, a an easier one that shows you step by step how to build it the only thing that the instructions forgot to include is this the head uh but if you look at the pictures and zoom in of the pictures of the head you can see how the head was built but uh it's real simple there's no instructions how to build it but you can figure it out I'll show you uh, the robot. It it can stand, right? It's not going to just blow over, but they are just friction ball joints here in the hip. It's actually quite good articulation, but it's not super tight like you're used to with Transformers, Transformer toys, right? It's Lego. Uh, the pivot on the knee is actually just two plates rotating on a stud on some other plates. So that's, it is, it is a functioning hinge. Um, the toe can articulate but it's kind of pointless because the heel cannot it's all just made of plates and bricks but you can point the toes down a little bit to get a little bit uh instead of flat footed instead of a flat foot and look like that you can use the friction in the hinge of the toes to get them to stand like that uh with for the arms you have an up hinge here, and you have a ball joint right here. So it's pretty articulation. For the elbow, there isn't, there's only up and down, and there's only up and down for the hand, which isn't really much of a articulation. So uh, other than this, the, uh, the, the arm, a ball joint, there's not much articulation. There's no articulation in the head at all. You can't rotate the head. You can pick it up and reposition it, but it looks weird. So there's no articulation in the head. Uh, the cannon is only held on by one. Let's zoom in on that. It's only held by this one clip, so it can actually rotate up, and that's part of the transformation. Uh, there's the weird picture that Alan Yap posted of the robot mode with the cannon over the shoulder. I couldn't figure out how he positioned it that way, other than it just sits there. So I'm not going to bother trying to replicate it. Uh, okay, let me show you the transformation. It's real simple. It's kind of like Perceptor, basically. You're going to spin the, the waist for the transformation. Be careful. These little curved pieces kind of pop off sometimes. So you spin the waist 180 degrees. You fold the leg up, forward, fold the toes in. The robot basically just sits. And then you're going to spin the microscope scope part up and around and down. Oh, wait. The chest opens, right? That's what holds the little slides. And then you open up the arms. That comes down. You will spin the, the arm.
down over and fold it in. And there you have the microscope. It's a pretty good looking microscope actually. Uh, for those who know microscopes, you usually have a little dial to adjust focus and whatnot. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, you can sort of turn it into a tank. I, I'm not gonna do the tank mode. Uh, you can try to play with it. Uh, it's a cool figure. Uh, it's made of Legos. Oh, let's show size comparisons. Yeah, let's put it back into a robot mode. So for size comparison, here is Power of the Prime's Optimus Prime and Siege Soundwave. So it's not quite as big as Optimus Prime and it's definitely taller than Siege Soundwave. Obviously it's not red like the real Perceptor. Uh, and it's really simplistic, like the head is really simplistic, but you don't have to add any parts. All the parts you need are in that Lego set, and it's 30 bucks, and you can build your own transforming microscope robot, uh, which we all know is Perceptor.